is investigating after a dozen horses were rescued from a valley home today. They are in a safe place as this case moves forward. 13 Action News reporter Tom George is live near Carrie and Lamb, where the horse was found on the loose. Tom. Yeah, well, this definitely got a lot of attention after one of those horses got on the loose. It all was in this house behind me. It's kind of hard to tell from the front, but behind that garage, behind those gates, they found 12 horses, which is way more than the county allows. For 12 horses, this is their new home. They've been running and playing at Horseman's Park while Metro investigates where they used to live. You can see the view from Chopper 13 fast and first over the backyard near Lamb and Carey. Inside those stables, 12 horses kept in what Metro animal crews described as deplorable conditions. Today, neighbors say they're surprised because horses are common on their street. All the neighbors here have uh, horses, goats. It's something usual. We see it all the time. They say from the outside, everything appeared normal. From our house, it looked like they were under good condition. But a possible animal neglect tip and a horse getting loose prompted a call to Metro. In Clark County, you can only have one horse for every 7,000 square feet. So in this case, that would mean only four horses for a property this size. But in the end, Metro found three times that many, with 12 horses removed. They also found 150 chickens and 400 pigeons. Can you tell oh, on their trees that they're here all the time? As for the homeowners, it's still not clear what charges they might face. We tried to reach them, but they wouldn't answer the door. And Metro says, aside from this, there haven't been any other calls to that address. In the meantime, this park is where the horses will stay. Now, Metro is still investigating this case right now. They're still waiting on some of the veterinary results to figure out if any charges will be filed. Now, if there are charges, those horses would be adopted out. But if they find that the homeowners did nothing wrong, it is possible for those horses to be returned. Reporting live, Tom George, 13 Action News.